Hi there, this is Kelly Schaefer of TaskComplete.com and the creator of the Concierge Academy. And today I'm going to teach you about the pros and cons of grocery delivery services. Now, grocery delivery services have become mainstream throughout our country. They're in many um, cities, they're all over the cities, and even some rural areas are starting to pick up grocery delivery as well. But I wanted to teach you today the pros and cons to using a grocery delivery service. Now, some people are gonna say, Kelly, why would you teach people to order their groceries online and have them shipped to their house? Doesn't that bite into you know, your services that you offer? Yes and no, because some of our clients like grocery delivery, some of our clients don't like grocery delivery, some of our clients will use grocery delivery, but we're the ones that update their cart, and then we have some who uh, will use the grocery delivery, but we update the cart, and we wait at the house for the groceries to be delivered so that we can put it all away for them, rotate the pantry, and I, I like to say, toss out the science projects. But I'm gonna give you what I have found to be the top pros and cons. The pro to using a grocery delivery service, number one, is convenience, of course. Nobody wants to wait in lines anymore to do their grocery shopping. So it's very convenient to have someone have all of your groceries picked and brought to you to your home. Another pro is that nowadays, unlike how it was when grocery deliveries first started, there's a wide variety of time frames that you can have your groceries delivered. Um, anywhere from eight o'clock in the morning till like 10 o'clock at night. And most places will give you a two or three hour window so that you get to choose the time that the grocery is gonna be delivered. And then you just have to be at home to accept that delivery. I know um, I personally also use a grocery delivery and um, I like that they send me text messages letting me know that I'm the next one on the stop. Or they'll send me a text message mm -hmm. that uh, they're here, they're in my driveway. And that's really convenient. Mm -hmm. um, so we have the convenience mm -hmm. and we have the time factor where they will deliver mm -hmm. um, within a window. And the other thing is what is great mm -hmm. is um, in our household, we have some systems in our house. Mm -hmm. So one of our systems is when you take the last of something it goes on the grocery list so all the kids know my husband knows and they will write it all onto the list so then all I have to do is then add those items into my shopping cart for my grocery delivery so when um, and then I just schedule my groceries typically once a week and then I can be adding items to the list as the week goes on when things are running out or I notice something that's how I just update my list so that's, those are definitely three major benefits. The cons, however, this is where it gets a little trickier. So the cons are that not all grocery deliveries have all of the items that you want because many of them don't actually purchase the items from the grocery store. And that was something that I learned after I actually started having my groceries delivered. Um, they don't actually have pickers in the grocery store picking the groceries for you. They actually have a warehouse and they have pickers that are picking the supplies at the warehouse. And because some of the chains and delivery services are across the country, um, there are some things that you might be able to find here in Pennsylvania that you might not be able to find in Texas. So you won't always be able to find some of your favorite brands or some of your favorite products in grocery delivery. So that's one of the negative spot, uh, negative points about it. One of the other things is I highly encourage you um, not really to buy a lot of, um, vegetables aren't too bad, but a lot of um, fruits that can be damaged in delivery, uh, be careful. The bananas actually seem to do pretty well, but um, peaches and pears, um, those items, they tend to come a little bit bruised. So um, those are the ones I like to pick up fresh from the, from the actual physical grocery store. Plus, the thing is, and this is a difference between whether you have a personal concierge do your shopping for you, 
or a delivery service is a delivery service you can't necessarily tell the delivery service I want my avocados to be um, I want two to be firm so I can eat them at the end of the week and I want two to be soft enough that I can eat right away within a day or two but not be mushy so you can't give that kind of detail to a delivery service you can give that kind of detail to your personal concierge so that's another downside um, and one other thing that I noticed, um, but they've gotten better at it, is uh, lunch meat. So it depends on how you like to have your lunch meat sliced. If you like to have it like I do, like practically shredded super thin, sometimes they pull the wrong product and they give you just like traditionally regular cut lunch meats. And I can tell you from somebody who likes their super thin, that doesn't fly for me. <laughs> but um, so again, that's one of the negative points. But the great thing about it is that you can schedule the bulk of your shopping to be delivered to your house on a scheduled time once a week. And then that allows you to just buzz in and out or have your personal concierge buzz in and out of the store once or twice a week if necessary to pick up the fresh items that you won't be able to get through grocery delivery because you don't want them to be damaged in transit or the items and products that perhaps they don't always carry for you. And hopefully you'll be able to use that strategy with um, saving a lot of time for your own family. Um, it really is a big help, honestly. Um, when my son was sick earlier this year, uh, my husband was trying to struggle and handle everything for us and I had to stay in the house for several weeks with my son. And that's when I actually um, decided to, to do it um, and I have become very accustomed to using it and we get a grocery delivery each and every week so some people are a little hesitant I was one of those people but go ahead and give it a try and see how it works for you um, but remember the standards that I gave you the pros and cons and uh, hopefully your delivery experience will be a good one and it'll help save and shave a couple hours a week off of your um, hectic schedule and if you want somebody to do the shopping for you or add the items to the cart for you, just reach out to us at taskcomplete.com. So hopefully this uh, little video was, even though it might have been long, hopefully it was informational for you and uh, you find value in it. And uh, until next time, bye now.